craziest bastards I've ever met in my life. I love everyone. What's going on, you crazy bastards? You're back here with Rob Kimball brand for a WWE Raw review. We're leading up to Survivor Series and we have a five on five. Team Reigns, Team Rollins, pretty badass finish and uh, just awesome. The show put together pretty damn decent. Another week in a row, I enjoyed the show. And uh, <laughs> Bray Wyatt, wow, killer, killer promo. As always, the promos rock, but this was phenomenal. Moving on, to start off the show, Roman Reigns kicks off Raw, we have an in-ring promo, he gets the crowd going, and you know what, short promos, and he's killing it, he's not stuttering, he's not fucking up, Rollins comes on out, and uh, he even puts over Reigns a little bit here, but then he, uh, he claims that... <laughs> He's only going to be second best and he'll still be carrying his bags, but he knows he's good and that's why he put him in the shield and recruited him. So anyway, uh, Reigns like, well, come on down. Let's have a match now. Then uh, Rain, or Rollins comes on down to the ring. It looks like he wants a little piece of Roman Reigns and the authority come on out. They tease the crowd with the match tonight for the title, but no, that's, all go that's only going to happen at Survivor Series. You guys here in Colorado are high as hell, yeah. You know, the legal state to smoke weed, that is. Anyway, like they said, they, we're going to have a five-on-five five instead. Um, traditional Survivor Series. So, Team Rounds versus Team Reigns for the main event. Pretty cool. Then we have Dolph Ziggler versus... Kevin Owens and uh, well Kevin Owens attacks the uh, the injured knee of Dolph Ziggler so it's pretty much all Kevin Owens during this and then yes you knew it Tyler Breeze and Summer Rae come on down into the VIP section again just shooting selfies and shit anyway the match goes on and uh, well looks like Dolph Ziggler gets in a little offense but Tyler Breeze goes for some selfie shots and th this distracts uh, Dolph Ziggler and it turns into a pop-up powerbomb and that is that. Kevin Owens victorious, then Tyler Breeze goes into the ring for more selfie attempts. Dolph Ziggler does go after Tyler Breeze but he eats a beauty shot and Summer Rae joins in on the selfie. So, eh, decent and it's going to be nice to see this feud because these are the two perfect. They're like, they're, uh, the, the chemistry is going to be awesome and they're what they do it, it just works, so it's going to be cool. Hopefully it lasts for a few, not just one pay-per-view, hopefully it just carries on and it's a nice feud for at least half a year. Not every pay-per-view, but you know what I mean. Then we have Cesaro versus Miz. Did you know? <laughs> yeah, Miz just turned into a jobber, but he's a good jobber, and it's fun uh, when Miz comes out because he does get a crowd reaction, and Cesaro does as well and kicks his ass. We have like 25 rotations of the big swing, and yeah, just killed him. And he finishes it off with a sharpshooter. Quick tap out, too, for the Miz, might I say. So then we move on to the holy shit. Bray Wyatt with the Wyatt family promo and how he, um, the Wyatts have harvested the souls of Undertaker and Kane and he's consumed them and he is now the guy with the power and he has the lightning and the, uh, the fucking thunder and all this and it was awesome and the video package of Kane and Undertaker over all the years and some of their highlights just awesome and now he's consumed it all so now he has all that power just visually awesome and promo wise this is the best promo guy seriously right now he's so good you can't go wrong when you throw a mic and he gets passionate about something it's awesome and is this a passing of the torch to the next you know what I mean seems like it but we'll, we'll see exactly what happens at Survivor Series but like Bray Wyatt man doesn't matter if he loses or not he continues to move on awesome so this was killer if you didn't watch it go watch it then we got the Lucha Dragons versus Barrett and Sheamus, which are now a tag team. Hard to follow this Bray Wyatt segment, and uh, it is what it is. Uh, Lucha Dragons, being the underdogs here, kicked ass. Just the, the speed and agility, persevered over the strength and brawn, and uh, this was pretty cool, so I like that. And then we have our truth versus Del Rio. And we did have a Jack Swagger segment in the back, and uh, he's just trying to figure out what the deal is with Del Rio and Zeb Coulter. So it is what it is. Anyway, did you think anything else 
but our troops did get in some offense. Del Rio kicks a ass, the double chest stomp there, and uh, finishes it off pretty quickly. No arm breaker deal that he had. Um, so we're probably that's going to be a, a wicked move down the road on somebody serious. Maybe like John Cena's return when he tries to get the, the title back. Who knows? Then we have uh, the, the New Day. They join Seth Rollins' team. Xavier Woods is back, and so is a trombone. Kevin Owens, like I said, also joined them. And uh, then we move on to the uh, Divas Revolution, basically. Fatal four-way. You got Becky Lynch versus Sasha Banks, which everyone wants. Brie Bella and Paige. Now, this was a badass, decent match. Um, just, it got pretty damn good, but with the numbers, one can capitalize and Paige did. She took advantage of when Sasha had uh, Becky Lynch in the bank statement and uh, she finishes her off with a rampage to Becky Lynch after she threw Sasha Banks out. She is moving on to take on Charlotte Survivor Series for the deepest title. Pretty cool, so we'll see what happens there. It was the only one I think that was going to win with all the shit going on with her and the Lunger Blaze and all that. So anyway, fi finally, main event. You got team rounds. We didn't even know who was joining uh, Roman Reigns' team, so the Usos are back. Nice. This is pretty cool. They're back. Looks like the tag team division is getting pretty damn good. And also earlier with uh, the Cesaro section, you got the Stardust section with the Ascension, at, which is fun. So we'll see what's going on there. It might be some backpedal for Cesaro, but to take out those guys eventually would be cool. And it'll be a program for him to move on while these other guys are in the main spotlight. But Cesaro right now with Cena out and Randy Orton now, and this would be a good time for him to jump into that spotlight so anyway moving on to like I said Usos Ryback and Dean Ambrose join Roman Reigns and this is a badass match and right off the bat Xavier Woods he's got this <laughs> taken right out Usos take him out and then Kofi Kingston's out but this what it comes down to is Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose this is what most of us wanted to see. And then uh, once Kevin Owens was eliminated, holy shit, we had a little nice teamwork there, but yeah, you, teamwork sometimes slips and look what happens. But anyway, you got the three shield guys. This is everyone's deal. They want to see these guys tangle and uh, we get that. And I did like to see no Dean Ambrose turn. So the heel turn, Thing that everyone's thinking is going to happen hopefully doesn't it doesn't need to happen he's Dean Ambrose he's like a stone cold he don't need to be healed he's Dean freaking Ambrose so that's that anyway badass eventually uh, Seth Rollins he can't he just can't and uh, goes for the chair gets DQ'd and that is that and he ends up squeaking out of there with his belt after he almost got his ass totally kicked and he was trying to escape running through the crowd any which way he could but they they kept him there and they beat his ass pretty good and that was that pretty decent raw like I said I liked it guys comment down here hit the thumbs up and tell me what was your favorite match and what did you think of the Bray Wyatt promo how does that make you feel if he has consumed the Undertaker and Demon Kane and where does where does the Undertaker and Kane go from here because their souls are gone so who comes to save them and reclaim their souls if that's the next step obviously Survivor Series seems to be fitting here is it going to be Sting will he come back and if you noticed when they did Survivor Series last year some of the highlights of that match they didn't show any of the Sting return or when he came in to help out uh, Dolph Ziggler pick up that victory so I found that odd just a scenario there guys so throwing it out there uh, like I said also check out the t-shirt store link is in the description new unicorn shirt for the new day the new colors yes check it out it's way cooler than the one that they designed on the WWE shop so if you like the uh, new day check this shirt out it's badass and plus all the others so thank you for the support and I will catch you guys next time peace